Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of the latest news for Tesla. Today we take a look at the issues facing Tesla with the 4680 battery and how they will be able to charge within 10 minutes. Let's get into the video. Is Elon Musk back in production hell with Tesla's 4680 battery? F range anxiety hangs in the balance. On July 26, and a rare glimpse into progress on his company's purported game changer battery, Tesla CEO Elon Musk was in true Muskian form, raising hopes and tempering expectations in one cryptic swoop. We have successfully validated performance and lifetime of our 4,680 cells produced at our Cato facility in California. We are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Cato, field quality and yield are at viable levels and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing processes that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production. Internal crash testing of our structural pack architecture with a single piece front casting has been successful. Any whisper of production bottlenecks at Tesla inevitably recalls the Model 3's troubled launch in 2017 and 2018, the one that had Musk sleeping in his office. Yet that make or break sedan ultimately made Tesla the world leader in EVs, and one of its most valued companies. The enlarged, cylindrical 4680 cell, which Tesla first teased at its battery day last September, brings its own sky-high hopes and challenges, if Tesla can pull off in-house, vertically integrated battery manufacturing, and the cell performs as advertised, the 4680 could fuel Musk's dreams to build millions of EVs a year around the world. Tesla's goals include boosting driving range by more than 50%, 16% of that due to the 4680's newfound punch, while having battery costs and bringing a $25,000 Tesla to showrooms. Tesla continues to dominate EV sales in America, but its seemingly insurmountable lead in driving range is under assault. The Arizona-built Lucid Air sedan, the work of Musk's former Model S chief engineer, has demonstrated it can travel up to 517 miles, a lofty record for any EV. Tesla's best, the Model S Long Range, is EPA rated for 405 miles. The Lucid Air is the first car to show range that's not just competitive, with Tesla, but better, an astonishing achievement said Venkat Viswanathan, battery researcher and associate professor of mechanical engineering at Carnegie Mellon University. It shows it's no longer a one-horse race. To gallop back in front, a 50% range leap for a vehicle like the Model S would let it top 600 miles, a diesel-like stamina that seemed unimaginable a few years ago. So much for range anxiety. Sandy Monroe, the Detroit-area engineer who has gained YouTube fame for his reverse-engineered teardowns and analyses of EVs, is among the experts convinced that Tesla will pull it off. For the cell itself, no question, it will kick the daylights out of everybody, Monroe says. The 4680 could fuel Musk's dreams to build millions of EVs a year around the world. That kick begins with the 4680's form factor and what surrounds it, more than what ends up inside it, Monroe and other experts told a triple E spectrum. Where battery day trumpet of the new cell is having five times the energy density and six times the power of its Panasonic built 2170 cells, Musk conveniently failed to mention the larger 4680 has nearly 5.5 times the volume, simply due to larger dimensions, 46 by 80 mm, versus 21 by 70 mm. Yet this bigger can brings big benefits. Each jelly roll cell packs in more active battery material, and less wasted space in metal casing. A so-called structural battery pack, also called cell-to-pack construction, touted as a Tesla innovation, is in fact already a staple of several EVs, especially in China, including General Motors Red Hot, roughly $5,000 Wuling Mini. That saves more space by trading multiple module cases for a more streamlined pallet of cells wired in parallel. It's basically a giant box without dividers, Monroe says. And where current Tesla packs feature what Monroe calls a crappy cooling design with thermal channels between cells, superfluous, because most heat is concentrated at cell ends, Monroe says 4,680 cells will rest atop a liquid-cooled thermal plate that's become a staple of EVs from GM, Ford, Volkswagen, Porsche, or Rivian. When we first tore apart the Model 3, we just couldn't figure that out, Monroe says of the previous method. Monroe further estimates Tesla's redesigned pack, including adhesive bonds between cells and modern welding techniques, will reduce steel use by 30-40%. to 40%. Stamped grid plates on top will bring power back to terminals. Monroe's team mocked up the projected pack, including cut and painted wooden dowels to mimic the beefy new cell. That pack swallowed 960 larger cells, 
versus 4,416 cells for the 2,170 variety. Totaling potential gains, Monroe estimates Tesla could stuff 130 kilowatt hours of new cells into the same sized pack that houses just 72 kilowatt hours in the Model 3. His analysis suggests a 4,680 cell with roughly 9,000 ma versus 5,000 ma for the 2,170. Monroe cautions these aren't definitive estimates. Tesla has yet to show its 4,680 cell in physical form or reveal its chemistry or specs. Still. Experts say a long list of innovations could widen Tesla's already significant lead in driving range and efficiency versus the global giants. The holistic approach to AV and battery engineering is Tesla's key advantage, Monroe says. That chain of gains approach includes a tabless cell design, which some experts see as the 4680's best physical innovation. Eliminating traditional tabs that connect a cathode and anode to battery terminals simplifies manufacture, saves space and reduces ohmic resistance, a major hurdle in safely charging a large format battery. You actually have a shorter path length in a large tabless cell than you have in a smaller cell with tabs, Musk explained, a year ago at Tesla's Battery Day. Musk actually cites Tesla's growing manufacturing expertise in batteries, eliminating steps, streamlining processes, slashing costs, as its true competitive edge. That vision includes not just 4,680 factories adjacent to car plants near Austin and Berlin but also chemical plants to produce cathodes and lithium hydroxide, according to Simon Moores, Managing Director of Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. In one example, Tesla plans to use raw metallurgical silicon to boost its content in cells, using a scalable elastic polymer coating to conduct ions, boosting range another 20% and reducing pack costs by 5%, according to Drew Bellino, its SVP of engineering. Two weeks before Battery Day, Tesla bought three patent applications for just $3 from Spring Power International, an obscure Canadian company that Tesla now seems to have acquired outright. One Spring Power invention, described by Musk and Bellino at Battery Day, uses recirculation to skip the step of treating contaminated water in cathode production, up to 4,000 gallons of effluent for every ton of cathode material. The same process might ease battery recycling and grid storage solutions. It's insanely complicated, like digging a ditch, filling it in and digging the ditch again, Musk said. We looked at the entire value chain and said, how can we make this as simple as possible? Store.unveils unveils Tesla like 4,680 battery cells they claim can charge in 10 minutes. Store. an Israel-based battery startup, announced today that it produced the first 4,680 cylindrical cell, like the ones unveiled by Tesla at Battery Day last year, that can charge in just 10 minutes. Last year, Tesla unveiled its long-anticipated 4,680 cell that they claim could reduce battery cost by as much as 50%. 4,680 refers to the size 46 mm by 80 mm, which is much bigger than any other cylindrical cell produced before. Tesla claimed to have solved thermal issues with creating cells of that size. The automaker announced plans to produce the cells itself, which would be a first, but it also plans to partner with existing battery manufacturers to produce the new 4,680 cells. LG Energy Solutions, Cattle, Samsung SDI, and others have all announced pilot production programs to try to build the cells and get a contract from Tesla. Now Store. also announced its own foray into the 4,680 cell format and made a bold claim about the charge rate. The company has been focused on improving charge rates in F battery packs for years, and it has made some impressive demonstrations before, including recharging an electric scooter in 5 minutes. Today, Store.claims claims to have produced the first 4680 cell prototype capable of charging in 10 minutes. Store. Dot, the pioneer of extreme fast charging battery technology for electric vehicles, reveals its groundbreaking silicon dominant technology applied in extreme fast charging (XFC) cylindrical cells. In a world first, the company demonstrated the prototype 4680 form factor that is fully charged in just 10 minutes. Store. Extreme fast charging cylindrical cells utilize a 4680 format, the one increasingly favored by global car makers, and have been in development for over three years. Pioneering work for these breakthrough technologies was kicked off at Warwick University in the UK. Dr. Doron Meyersdorf, Store.CEO, commented on the announcement. Achieving the goal of extreme fast charging a cylindrical cell in only 10 minutes has been on Store.'s technology roadmap from day one. After three years of vigorous development and testing, leveraging multiple vectors of our world-class researches, I am hugely proud at the effective collaboration across our globe that enabled this important achievement. 
it's highly significant that we can offer electric vehicle manufacturers the choice of cell formats, utilizing our XFC technology that will overcome the current barriers to have ownership, range and charging anxiety. Do you think that Tesla will resolve the issues with the 4680 battery production and will they charge realistically in 10 minutes? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and if you are new to the channel then why not subscribe? Thanks for watching.